All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. All right, I'll wake her up. Wake up. We have to go. Time to get off the bus. <clears throat> bus feels safe, you know? It's out of the weather and it's constantly moving and I don't think uh, abusive daddy will find her there. But what is, what is Kara's plan here? Aside from get away, I don't think she has a plan, right? I mean, do androids think that way? Yeah, ask him about shelter. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. I can sympathize. Like he, the, the driver looks like he's he really wants to help. I don't know if he's. I think it's probably because of the little girl. All right, she's in the rain now. What's Kara's motivation here? Aside from, like, get Alice away, it's probably just, like, she's going to see that and go, okay. we got to do everything we can to help her. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Find some place to stay, hopefully warm and dry. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. There's places around here. There's buildings around here. It's Detroit. Come on. Everything's abandoned anyway. We can get in there. Come on, Alice. <laughs> We've got to hurry. Welcome back to Detroit, guys. Hope you're having a, a wonderful day. We're back in uh, this. Hey, the people mover has been uh, a bit updated, hasn't it? That's nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, scan the street here. Let's see what we got. Find shelter for the night. Looks like there's three options. Um, uh, is, that, is that a motel? That's a motel. Comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. Ah, yes, we'll need money. We don't have money. That's a problem. Uh, we've got this place over here open 24 seven. Can't sleep here. Ask for help. Okay, we could ask for help in that convenience store. Fine. Um, we've got another thing over here. Very comfortable, but dis very uncomfortable, but discreet. So there's a balance between being somewhere and having nobody find us and being comfortable, right? And I don't know what necessarily makes Alice the most happy. I'm not sure an android would necessarily be... I don't know what she would be thinking of. Uncomfortable but safe? How to get in? So there's an abandoned house right there too. All right. So, I, I mean, obviously, I think I'd want to... 24-7 can't stay. Mega washer. Okay. Laundry mat. And then uh, there's a coffee shop right here. Can I? Can we get in there? Won't open before morning. Okay, so we can't get in there. Maybe we can break it in. <laughs> That's really discreet. How did you get in here? Check that broken window. How about this drugstore? Can we just get in here? It says no androids allowed. Uh, owners will be prosecuted. Owners will be prosecuted. That's a good way to get our, our, guy, our guy in trouble. Alice just let go of my hand. Do you know where you're going? Look at that garbage truck. It's awesome. Vehicles of the future. It's a garbage, a garbage android. I'm gonna go check him out. Excuse me. Oh, wait. Oh, it won't let me go that way. I wanted to talk to him. All right, all right. Hey, Alice, what's up? Alice, you're freezing cold. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You don't. You don't look okay. You look lost. Oh, hey, garbage man. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Ooh, cool data transfer. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. And he's just gone. He's back in the truck. So he apparently sent us someplace. But someplace we can't get to right now. But it's a place we know of when we might be able to get there tomorrow. If we can find a place tonight. 
Okay, uh, well, you know what? She's, like, cold and stuff. I think we should probably get her some, some dry clothes. Maybe we can get some from that laundromat. We can't get to the motel without money. There's probably a way to get that. I just don't know what it is right now. But she's cold. Laundromats tend to be a bit warmer inside and, uh... Looks like there's just one guy in there. It's warm in here. I think Kara right now is, is pretty desperate, right? She's she's desperate. She wants to do whatever it takes to, to help Alice right now. So it's... Yeah, change of clothes. Okay, so maybe there's a way to get clothes here. Could do that. Oh, hello. Hey. Hey. What's this? Pollinating bees officially extinct. The bee line to disaster. Clever. Cybersecurity experts warns your Android could be hacked, which is a legitimate concern, I think. Dating website discovered to have less than 5% female members. <laughs> also a legitimate concern. <laughs> Fa pollinating bees officially extinct for decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species... Uh, G-I-E-S, announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot fend, uh, feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites, and pollution. The consequences of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, freshwater supplies, and most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. CyberLife, in cooperation with GAI or GIES, uh, have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some of the pursuing non-robotic some are pursuing non-robotic approaches. Sorry, uh, such as Detroit Urban Farms uh, currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity, but there is still no guarantee that they will thrive. Wowzers! It's time to face the music. Uh, live concerts to make a comeback. Nice, awesome. My husband got an android pregnant. <laughs> Story inside. Oh, God. Ten ways to please your man and keep him. There's not, there's not ten ways. Ladies, there's not ten ways. There's one, there's one way, okay? And that is delicious food, okay? Delicious food, done. We are, we're in, right? That's it. I mean, okay, we have other needs. But delicious food will, like, go a long way, okay? You give me a great burger, and I'm, I'm yours for a while, okay? Quite a while. At least. <laughs> Uh, for the younger generation, watching concerts in VR has become the norm. And who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's a cheap, safe, and no-hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kosuki Music have launched a campaign to bring back old, concert, old school concerts with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, NKM spokesperson, explains the culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past, but we want to bring that back. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be about, says the lead singer, Baz Rudd. Nice name. Uh, the hype, the applause, the screams. You just don't get that sitting on your sofa. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which should uh, be <laughs> music to fans' ears. Genius. Yeah, that's, that's good. I, I don't know if that's really the future. Like, I don't see... I don't really see live concerts ever going away. Like, that just seems like something that's... That's just not going to happen. We're not going to go away. All right, Kara, we need to find... We need to find clothes. Oh, here we go. We got, we got clean clothes in there. 
Program complete. That's what it says. But that's these. This guy's clothes, though. Dry clothes for Alice. Steel clothes. Kinda. Let's open it. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. Oh, that's a conflict, man. Like, I, I feel like this is going to help her, but she doesn't want us to do it. She doesn't want us to steal. How do we help Alice and do what she wants at the same time? <sighs> at least it's not giving me a time limit to decide. Like, part of me says she wants Alice's trust. And, like, Alice doesn't want us to steal. We can get by without stealing. There might be a way to do this without stealing. But at the same time, if, if she gets sick, she's not going to be happy. If I don't get out of these clothes, you know, like, there's all sorts of things that... There's just all sorts of things that I think open up if we change our clothes, right? Alice! Uh, why, Alice? We're already trusted. She may not like it, but I think if, if we can get... Damn it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, Kara's directive is to help Alice. But Kara's directive also is wanting... Is wanting Alice happy. I don't think Kara steals here. I don't think Kara steals here. Ah! Uh, Make Alice happy. Listen to Alice. Help her, but don't do things that make her upset. I don't know. Uh, I'm so conflicted on that. Okay, well, we gotta go then. There's nothing else to do here, right? Yeah, that's the only place there's clothes. Girl, you need fresh clothes, all right? Girl, you need fresh clothes. Like, you're dripping wet. You're soaked. I'm going to take the clothes. I'm going to take the clothes. But we just said we wouldn't do it. Now do I get punished for, for lying? Oh, I don't know. <sighs> okay, you know what? We're, let's, let's commit to it. We're going to be honest about... The, we're not going to steal the guy's clothes. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to figure it out without the clothes. Let's go, Alice. <sighs> I love it. It's, it's, there's like a conflict. It's probably not that big of a decision, but. I mean, we're going to go out in the rain after we get those clothes anyway, right? So we're still going to get wet, but. I want to get out of the Android clothes, right? That's, that was the thing. Because I feel like other options open up to us if I don't have the Android clothes on. But Kara is, she's like experiencing this, all this new stuff, right? She's experiencing sort of, in a way, what it feels like to, you know, she has this desperation, this, these emotions that she's never had before. And, uh, what's this? And she's just, like, she's desperate to help Alice, but at the same time, Alice is also kind of her compass. I feel like Alice is a little bit of a compass for her. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Yeah, thanks for the help, buddy. That's a real android right there. Hey, come grab my hand, little girl. Come on. I love that. Like, she gets really close, and it just feels super organic, you know? So there's a 24-7. This is that convenience store. Maybe the guy over here will help us. Maybe he will help us. I thought I saw a guy in there. I mean, he's, there's a guy working at the counter, so... Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Yeah, yeah. Be out of the cold. Detroit. Uh-huh. Hey, can you help us? What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. 
Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Steal cash register. Oh. Shoplift, find a plan. All right, find a plan. Find a plan. There's a couple of things. We've got... Uh, this is just a camera that looks around. That's the camera. So we can see through security cameras. Here we go. We got adhesive, a.k.a. tape, 10% off. Got some hatchets, some... Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, little hatchets. There's a hammer. There's, uh, looks like wire cutters. Yeah, okay. So there's lots of tools. Cool. It's a pharmacy. More security cameras. So, like, everybody in the world can see us in here. Yeah. Okay, what about food? Can we get food for... Food for Alice? Got cans stacked up. Unlocked? What did we unlock by doing that? Use Alice for diversion. Oh. Hey, that's an idea. We can also take a toy for her. I mean, she's gonna. I'm gonna want food for her. She can't see me do it. I mean, I, I don't want her mad, but sometimes we need things. I'm going to just see about taking these cookies. Can we take this? Food for Alice. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. I'm going to take it. Food for Alice. Stole something. Yep. We're deviants now. We're in it. <laughs> We're getting on this. Alice, we need money for the motel. I want comfortable living for you, girl. Let's. I'm gonna see about she. See if she does it for us. Alice, I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? But why? Please, Alice, just trust me. Please trust me. Doobie doo, I'm just gonna come over here, no big deal. Doobie 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 doo. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal, no big deal. You alright? Are you hurt? I think the cameras are gonna see. Well, don't worry. It's just a few cameras. Did we get it? Come on, let's go. We got it. We're out of here. Bye. And I don't think Alice even saw us do it, right? As long as Alice didn't see us do it. We're gone. Bye. We are gone. Ah, <laughs> dick. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. I'm sorry, but we need a place to stay, girl. We needed the money. I had to find a way, Alice. We have to go to the hotel. We have to go. I know. It's like, it's a thing where it's, I know you don't like it, but you needed the, honestly, we need the clothes too. She seems like she's all right with it. Like in the end, I'm tempted to go back to the laundromat now and get the clothes. Because I feel like that's going to be important later. Like, we need to open up additional options for us. I know that's kind of meta to think that way. You know, thinking like uh, thinking about it as a, as, a, as a gameplay as opposed to like a real-world roleplay. But it, it's, it's real-world uh, roleplay, too. If we have clothes and we're not in these Android clothes, I think later on it'll be easier for us. I know I'm going to find other ways to get Alice's trust back, but... I, I think we need to steal the clothes. I'm going to try and see about it. 
We got money now, so if worst comes to worst, we can at least get to the motel. Let's do it, Kara. Alice is just warm to us now. Gotta bring the clothes to Alice. Ugh, I feel so stressed out for that. I know Alice doesn't really trust us right now. Not completely, but I think she'll be happier with clothes. Like, in the end, I think she'll be happier with clothes. Uh, police are coming to the convenience store, probably. Yes, this is better. Yes, look. We don't even look like an android anymore. We're covering up. Oh, this is, this is much better, guys. We needed this really bad. I feel like additional options open up to us big time. If they don't know we're androids, right? We got to hide the fact that we're an android. I think that's important. All right. We've got money and fresh clothes. Uh, we can go to the motel. Let's go. Let's go. It's not about making friends with her as much as it is protecting her, right? Protecting her, making her feel comfortable, and uh, doing everything we can to help her, even if she doesn't necessarily like it. That's the whole re that's the whole thing about being an adult. Hi. And we don't look like we're an android anymore. I like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Uh, my name is uh, Bowman. Yeah, or my name is Bowman. <laughs> Archer. Okay, fine. Archer. Can I see your driver's license? Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have one. I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. Thank you. We can deal with it tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, man. Have a good night. I feel like that wouldn't happen quite like that if we were an android, you know? Let's go. I don't know how I don't know what happens if you're if you're not dressed like this, but I feel like that doesn't happen as smoothly if you're not if you're not an android. We never checked the house. You know what? It's fine. Do you think fine. he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Yes. Nice and warm. Uh, room 28. Is that what it said? So 16. So a second floor then. Uh, no. Hey. There you go, keyboard. You got it. I don't know what happens if you're not... Like, I almost want to go back and just see what happens if you're dressed like an android when you talk to that guy. But he, I think he's... I think they think that we're human, right? I mean, at least I am. I mean, we know Alice is, but... Do they make kid kid uh, androids? Like children androids like that? I mean, we can see her head clearly as opposed to the hat I'm wearing, but... Yeah, we got a chocolate bar for you. Oh, what happened? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Crashed a desktop, and that was weird. Um, but that's I guess that's what we get when we're playing on PC. Maybe the port from the console isn't as stable as it could be. But right, let's go back into the room. Hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. That's the first time that's happened, so... I think from now on, I'll probably cut those out as much as possible, but... I'm just going to leave it in the video this time just to, to show you guys that it happened, I guess. I don't want to take you out of the experience, you know?
We have a chocolate bar for you, little girl. I don't have the toy. All right, we're in the we're in the room. There you go. We can talk to Alice, or we can look around and see if there's anything else. Oh, you know what? We're gonna look in the mirror and we're gonna see ourselves like very human, right? Yeah, look at that. We're gonna see ourselves, and it's gonna be—it's just like, yeah. It, it, that's that's what I'm. Uh, hang Alice's coat. Oh yeah. Um, that's just like that moment where the the uh, android looks in the mirror and goes, "Whoa, I actually don't look like an android to myself anymore." You know. Here, give me your coat. More dry clothes, drier clothes. And hang my coat, my coat too. And then, uh, did you get the candy bar? Here. I have a chocolate bar. Are you hungry? Hmm. I wonder if there was something else we could have grabbed instead of the chocolate bar. All right. Well, let's uh. So let's collect and dry Alice's clothes. We could do that. Um, look outside. I hope we don't get found. See, this is comfortable, but not discreet is what it said. So I'm, I'm wondering if, like, this is probably the best place for us to stay tonight. But is it? The, it's not the safest, right? Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Uh, we're hanging it up. Yeah, over there on the heater. On the, on the yeah. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. The storyteller in me is knowing that there's going to be a choice later where I have to leave her behind, you know? I think it's on the wall. Yeah. Sleep tight, Alice. Tuck her in. Or we can get in bed with her. That's good. That's good. More comfort and stuff. Comforting. I wonder if there's anything we could have done if we walked away, though. Yeah, we just, I mean, like, she's going to forgive us, right, for the things we did, you know? 
look at all the options. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, there was like several options to stay, right? There was another building even to go into. Inside supermarket steel chocolate bar. Uh, that kind of locked us out of a different option, I guess. Uh, there were two other things to do in there. Use Alice as a diversion. We, If we don't do that, then there's something else. Uh, and we end up leaving the supermarket. Look at, like, there's so many different ways to leave the supermarket. Like, oh my god. Uh, like, this is the kind of game where you should play multiple times to see all these different things, right? I mean, you got to. Wear clothes. See? Look at, huh? Cross chapter impact. I knew that was a good idea. It's, it's gonna be a good idea, whether Alice likes it or not. We gotta get, we, we, got, we have to get some new clothes. Um, talk to receptionist, check in, find a room. There's, I don't think any other options. Like there's no other way we get in that hotel, right? Like you have to steal the money, right? In order to get in there. Have money and disguise. You have to have the disguise as well. Oh, if I walked in there as an android, we might have gotten declined. Oh, I it just this is this is the, the guys. Come on back for the next one. I've been trying to figure out how I want to structure these videos, and um, I think I'm gonna do it by chapter. Even if even if it means that the videos are shorter, uh, I think just structuring it by having one chapter per video, I think is probably better because it's uh, like, I don't know, like my videos are normally 35 to 45 or so minutes long, right? But uh, there's there's such different emotions in each of the chapters and I think it's probably best to sort of separate those into episodes. So uh, come on back for the next one. Uh, I love your faces. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Give me a like, uh, comment down below. I don't want you to tell me what decisions you made and what the uh, what the results of those are. I'm hoping people aren't doing that. Um, but uh, like, I don't know how. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how you guys can comment on like your experiences in this game without spoiling something from a different tree. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you for the next one. Come on back. Bye.